You battle. Oh, now where are not there? Okay. Now where she not there? Okay. What did happen with guys? What did happen to her face? You see, see, she the wash her no, face. No, no, no. <laughs> And she is real. Like the way yeah, you see her in her videos is the way she is, guys. Look at her. She already prepared food for us. We left Milan this morning to come and meet her. And My husband, they are just having fun. Eh? He has to tell him all the story. <laughs> And look at that yummy goodness. Yeah, yeah, because they do the square eyes and they see him now. This play there. Reduce the square eyes. I'm ready to eat mm -hmm. that the chicken, but reduce the square eyes. Reduce the square eyes. See this in yummy. I've not had fried rice for a very long time. And I'm so happy to have one right now. Prepared by the real Igbo woman. An Ambara woman. <laughs> Customer is not a problem because we had a. Uh, oh, now where are not there? Okay. Now where she not there? Okay. What did happen with guys? What did happen to her face? You see, see she the wash her no, face. Mama, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are heading out now, and uh, hopefully I want to go cash. I want to see if I can cash uh, another YouTuber that lives around here. I don't know, but I don't want to see if I can reach them. But I will let you guys know, okay? Ciao. <laughs> so guys, we're back home um it's a bit dry uh, but it's fun it's really nice getting to meet uh one of the one of uh, nigerian youtubers living in italy uh it's really nice getting to meet janet anoku i think anoku yes it's really, <laughs> because i keep calling her janet akudo it's janet anoku so it's really nice getting to meet her real life guys she is a very she's a lovely lady she is super super nice i wasn't expecting and her husband is her husband is not just sweet on camera but the man is the that like italian says so he's so sweet even in real life gentle humble my god that family is blessed janet and her family they are blessed so i'm back there now we just arrived because it's about two and a half hours drive and the second youtuber i wanted to meet i didn't get to meet her and uh, maybe next time so but uh, janet you guys should check janet out she's so amazing like she made a very delicious jello fries for us chicken that the when i tasted the i mean turkey when i had when i tasted that turkey the flavor took me back to nigeria and that was original nigerian fried rice she made for us we i really enjoyed my stay i wish it wasn't a short trip i can't wait to meet her again and I, I think i definitely have to invite her and her family in my house here before this year is over i think before christmas is over i'm going to invite them here for christmas um for christmas lunch before we travel for christmas she's so lovely you guys should check her out i'm going to be leaving her link at description and uh, on this at the screen okay check her out guys tell her that i sent you guys show her some love okay so guys so today is sunday after i went to padova yesterday uh today is election day so we're going for election yes i finally got my voters card i'm going to be showing you guys later because i have christina over here with one hand so we are heading to the pool to vote right now this is my first election in italy so <laughs> <it's>, uh, the <laughs> the experience is uh, <laughs> like I don't know how the experience is going, but I'm excited, you know. I'm excited to see how they vote here in Italy. It's a privilege. So let's go. I hopefully there is no much people today. It's a bit cloudy. There is no sun today. And we, the weather forecast said that today, I mean this week is going to be really raining and the storm. We need the rain actually. So it's not bad that it's going to be raining because it have not rained here for a while. So we really need the rain. All right, let's go 
what what so this is i'm not going to be showing you guys my data but this is uh, how it looks like so yeah we're going there the the election road was blocked in this place they were blocked because of the election so the election is, is held in there so this place normally i use this place for school but today is blocked because of the election <laughs> i have to ask him okay we are done <laughs> Finally, Your first time. my first experience. <laughs> well, first experience is always fun, so it's not bad. It's, it, trust me, to compare with uh, the election we, we we have in our place, the difference the differences are clear because in uh, Africa or let me say in Nigeria, you will stand on the queue. People will know what you're voting people will know who you're voting people will put your hands on the ink to put you on the party you want to vote or on the thing you want to vote everybody will see what you're voting for but here they have a box i can't vlog inside there because for privacy's sake and uh, i can't tell you guys what i vote this is how it is in italy you can't say what you voted for if in, in this election is not a um, party election it's whole country and is making a decision for the country so all you needed to vote is yes or no so i can't tell you guys what i is I, it's just me and me alone that know uh what i said okay so that is how it is here and uh, there is a box you will give them your identity card they will register that you are there and they will give you the the ticket like the paper the sheets to click who you want to vote or what you want to vote for your opinion matters so there is a box there that is only you that are inside no camera just only you with that single sheet of paper you take what you want you fold it like no one will see it i did not record inside there you will fold it you will use your own hand to put it inside the box there there are police at the entrance but inside the room there are no police okay cosmo give me your hand okay so that is how it is it's simple very simple no complicated like no crowd <laughs> you just have to stand on the queue so mr daquino can you tell us what you was for oh, it's a secret <laughs> i was not uh, just a referendum ah okay just to say yes or no yes or no so you see it's a secret whatever we vote so yeah that is how it is is uh, if, if uh, election is like this all over the world there won't be a problem if, we, if african election become like this there won't be any problem because all this ringing of election won't happen at all it won't happen it's well organized they give you one paper nobody knows who you're voting for at all you just go they vote you bring out the paper fold it and throw it in the box and go nobody knows what you're voting for or nothing like that quiet clean and uh, yeah we're going back home it's not sleeping i think we're going to be going for some shopping baby shopping for our neighbors so i don't know but i will let you guys know if baby that's shopping. yeah baby shopping baby clothes shopping do you want to go okay so yeah all right guys we are back uh i'm in the corner because uh, if you heard me talk about going for baby shopping yes uh, i we need to go buy things for my neighbor's babies uh the one i showed you guys in one of my vlog i showed you that there was a name in, at the gate because that is italian tradition in case of those of you that ask yes in italy when somebody gave birth in italy uh, they normally leave the name of the baby at the gate like at the entrance of the building if you're living in a building but if you're living in a villa it's optional you can't they some people normally put it also because i remember when uh, my cold wife gave birth because my husband said uh, their house is a villa you know they live in south italy they still put it there put the name there it's also the, they do the same thing on uh, when somebody die in italy so they normally there is this thing they have that they put at the gate of the building so it's a tradition here but it's not like a, a something that they force you to do it's optional if you want to put the name of your child uh, at the gate it's uh, something is optional okay so we're going to buy something for 
for the baby because we've not bought anything we've not gotten any gift for the for the baby girl so we're going to get the gifts right now for her Krishna is still sleeping at the back sit there Cosmo went upstairs with the dad because he needs to park in this place we're going with this car he needs to save the parking space because there is no parking space today is Sunday everywhere is full so yes guys and for those of you that is wondering what is election this election is all about i want to clear it because i know i will get a lot of questions about this election this election is a changing constitution i'm going to write it for you guys article something 50 something and something 50 so it's uh about cutting down the parliament like the the parliament people that works in the parliament they want to cut it down because in italy italy has the highest uh, number of parliament even more than america more, all over the world almost all over the world italy has the number the largest number of parliaments i'm trying to pack let me pack uh repack this car then i'll talk to you guys okay just to pack the car i'm going to let my husband drive this car i'm going to let him drive okay because we're going to monza is it close to us that is where we're going to because i don't want to go to shopping mall i want to go to the uh you know open place where i can have a walk and just enter store come out i don't want to go to shopping mall where it's you know shopping mall is closed you guys already know that you know inside the one place i don't want to go there so is uh, they want to cut uh down the parliament because the italian has one of the largest the italians uh like parliaments are one of the largest so they want to cut it down and that is what this election is all about so the election is like Mama. if you want the parliament to be cut down you said yes if you don't want them to cut down the parliament that the employees in the parliament you said no so the option is yours according to them some people say you don't have to cut down the parliament another party said you have to cut it down for them to save money to do other things so is your option like i said i'm not going to tell you guys if i said yes or no i'm gonna come and drive so it's kind of secret okay i voted what i feel like is good come and drive what? just come and drive come and drive I don't want it. no <laughs> let me i want to change the position have... ah. <laughs> okay so it the italian parliament amore is it um which other country has as large uh or only italy like the parliament in italy they are they are much even more than american parliament it's not 900 people inside Na 900 people inside italian and parliament they want to reduce this to 600 so they want to cut down uh 300. Yeah. 900 is quite much if you ask me it's is a bit much parliament for to have 900 jesus christ that is too much 900 people almost 1000 people in a parliament oh boy anyway depends on the what italians want okay because this election is based as an individual what you want if you think that 900 is okay uh for the parliament he said uh, no you don't have to cut if you think this um is right to cut down the parliament to reduce the number to save money you said yes cut it so this is what the election is all about so yeah we can't wait to see the results if uh, italians want to cut it down or they want to keep it that way but the choice is is individual choice right it's the country people have to make their choice so that is what the election is all about so yeah i will update you guys for the results the result is going to come out today Evening. tomorrow evening so i'm going to wait for this vlog to they will vote today and tomorrow morning oh, the because the pool closed by 11 p.m so the voting they, they will they will close today by 11 11 p.m tomorrow they open back by 7 and close till 3 p.m ah, okay so today which is the uh, election day the main election day the pool will close by 11 p.m then tomorrow open by 7 a.m close by 3 p.m then by 6 p.m we'll get the result out so i'm going to wait i'm not going to upload this vlog until the election result is out i will let you guys know what uh, italians decide because it's italians that decide and it's my first time of voting it's kind of exciting <laughs> <laughs> it's excited you know the truth you know why i said it's excited for me in my country are we are you know majority of us are always scared to go to the pool to vote 
if you are, if you are from uh, my place you will know you will know what i'm talking about we are always scared because of the shooting and everything the violence and the the, the rest we are almost, we are always scared i've i've been to the vote i've voted before but i did my vote inside shell um RA, which is child residential area in Port Harcourt. That is where I did my election because it's less violent. The securities were tight. So that was another place. No, I think that was. Uh, <laughs> I don't, can't remember how many times I voted, but I know my last vote in Nigeria was during the uh, Good Luck Jonathan president so i voted for good luck jonathan yes i'm one of the people and i'm so proud to say that i voted for him i'm happy that i did i did that election that was my last election in nigeria okay so yeah that is uh pretty that is it guys we are on our way to monza to have a walk and to look around the store if we can get anything like i said i'm going to keep you guys updates for the election but it's fun to have this election here. It's not scary like our place. So, good citizen <laughs> of Italian, <laughs> of Italy. <laughs> I did my vote. So, if you're having an election in your place, go to vote. Like American election is coming. Let me be. Let me be a politician. Go vote. Go out there and vote for who you want to vote for. Okay. Remember that your voice matters a lot. Your voice matters a lot. So don't leave your choice under people's hands like they didn't go to vote whatever they decide your voice matters so whatever you choose whatever you vote for is what you expect remember that when you vote when something go wrong you have the right to protest against that okay so catch you guys later like the last time i was here they, they were renovating this cathedral this duomo the monza but now it's finished look at that my god it's beautiful See how many people taking pictures of it. It's beautiful. Look at that. This is we've never got like we've never been inside, so we're going inside the church now. I'm going to put on my mask. We'll go inside. I'm going to show you guys inside the church. It's beautiful. They clean it well. The innovation worth it. It took them more than a year to get this renovation done, but it's beautiful. And the color they gave it is awesome. This is amazing beautiful.
de Blessed Sacrament is there. Church yeah. is under. It's under. Yeah. Did you see the church with the cross? Yeah. Look. We did not even see it. He saw it. Yes, love. On the old church, they built the new one. Yeah, they built the, the new one. The, old church. the museum is, is here. I think it's not free. I don't know. In Grace and Museum. It's the old one. They preserved them. Mm. See, Amore, can you see? Que bella. Have you visto? I think so. Si, si, bella. Ti piace? Hmm? Brava. Si, c'è un altro. Hmm? It's not just a matter of washing. Si. Do you know what this boy said? He said that place is uh, there is treasure map inside there. So when you go inside, they have to have the map, the secret treasure map. I don't know how he got to know that, but it could be true. <laughs> it could be true. Jesus Christ on the cross. Hmm? I wish to. <laughs> I wish to. Jesus. Jesus. Candelin. Yeah, fine. <laughs> so today is Monday. I'm at the dentist because I have to do some cuts. I'm going to show you guys later in the mouth. I have to do some operation. In my face, okay, not my face, not face surgery, okay. So I'm going to explain to you guys later when it's done. Uh, but I'm there while we wait for the election results. So the election results is definitely going to be out this evening. So I'm going to let you guys know, okay. So see. Okay, guys, I'm back home right now, and uh, the dentist. I I told you guys earlier. So I had some treatment to do on my teeth, so in my, on my mouth teeth, and uh, so I had an appointment with the doctor. They called me to come in today, so I went in for a quick check to know how everything is going to go. Probably it's going to result. I don't know, but I things are not is not really clear right now. Uh, but um, yeah is what i went there for to do at the dentist so the la last week i didn't vlog it i went to clean the teeth so after cleaning the teeth was when i asked them about that and uh everything i just want to do general cleaning general fixing and um, everything you know it's better to be safe than to be sorry it's always good for us to go s sometimes to check and to see if uh everything is okay so that is why i was at the dentist today so probably this evening is not the election result is not out yet um but uh, as the way the things we are going yesterday the news uh, probably people are voting yes but nobody know how today's election is going to be so we are still waiting for the result and uh, hopefully i'm going to keep you guys updated for the results okay so yeah <laughs> okay guys so catch you guys later okay guys the news is all now 
So Italian said si. Okay guys, so the result is finally out and uh, they voted C, which is yes to cut down the parliament. So the parliament is going from 900 now to 600. So 300 is going to be out and uh, they will work with 600 for now. So yeah, the election C, the people that voted yes win. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you what I voted, okay? So that is the result. So if the yes win. So 59.53% voted yes and 30.47% voted no is there on TV. So yeah, so the, the amount of people that voted yes is far, far, is like double of the people that voted no. So yeah, the parliament is going to be called down to 600. So I'm going to end this vlog here, guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.